The Creel Tackle House has actually been around for about 70 years. It's the oldest tackle shop in New Zealand. It has been a real icon for this area. I'm Deb Alley. I am the owner, co-owner and operator of Creole Tackle House and Cafe. I look after the cafe side of things. I'm Grant, co-owner of the tackle shop and cafe. I am also a barista and I've been fly fishing for a long time and I work in the shop. We'd had a cafe previously, many years ago, but it just wasn't the right sort of time and place. Deb came home and said we're buying the Creole Tackle House. I said no we're not, it doesn't make any money. She said well it will when we put a cafe in it and the rest history. <laughs> and we did and it does and it's great. When lockdown was announced initial thoughts were Eek, yikes, what are we going to do, what's going to happen to the business you know, our seven years of hard graft, how long are we going to be locked down? You know, initially it was quite a scary situation and then it was, well, hey, everyone's in this. We're all in this together. The whole country's in this situation. And it's just relax if we can and, and, and enjoy the time. Which um, we did. We did, yeah. First of all, we gave away all the food that we had here, took it round to the neighbourhood and some of the businesses and gave it all away and <laughs> locked the place up, yeah. basically. And then we went into the next phase of it. Level three was when we could sell takeaways. People would come to the door, we'd serve coffee. Coffee and a uh, limited menu. Limited and... menu. But it just got better. It got busy. We got good support from the locals. And then, of course, level two, we were busier than we've ever been. We're very fortunate that we're not in the middle of a city. Once people started travelling again, well, we were boom, you know, it was mm. guns blazing and we had a record May, a record June, record July. It's been and of course, great a lot of people months. wanted to get fishing. Even during lockdown, we couldn't go fishing. They thought their throats would slit. Oh, it's terrible. And living right, we live right <laughs> on the river, and so every day, Grant would look out the front door at the river and could do nothing about it. I think lockdown has encouraged people to support local businesses, of course. They can't go anywhere else, really. And some of them, you know, they actually come in the front door and they say, we're here to support local. You know, that yeah. happens a lot. Does Turangi hold a special place for us and this business and the whole area? Well, it does, actually. And I guess that comes from a past life, you might say. And if you ask a lot of people why you live in Turangi, you'll get all sorts of looks and why would you want to live in Turingi? Well, if you don't understand that, I'm not going to tell mm. you. It just suits our lifestyle. 